Hello. Husky's back again with more Washington Capitals GM mode franchise mode commentary. Um, my TV's way too loud, so turn that down. Um, last video, we missed the playoffs by... Uh, we, we didn't miss plays by points. We, got, we lost the tiebreaker to Columbus. And because we missed the playoffs, I have decided to make a move. Um, I already traded Backstrom during the regular season for... Uh, who did I trade Backstrom for? I traded Backstrom for Mitch Marner, Leo Komarov, and a second. So now I'm going to make the big deal. I'm going to trade Alexander Ovechkin. Um, a lot of the big names I tried to trade for off camera, so this wouldn't take me 9,000 years to do. Um, the best option that I have is, um, I tried, I tried Nolan Patrick, but he's full trade value, so he's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to get him. Um, just about everybody with full trade value I can't get. I tried to get him, I tried to get, um, I tried to get Tavares, who also has full trade value. Um... I also tried to get uh, Tarasenko. Because Tarasenko would have been a nice fit. He makes considerably less money. He's a better overall. He scores goals, but he's full trade value, so I couldn't get him either. And I'm talking like two firsts, two seconds, Ovechkin. Like it's, it would just wasn't happening. I tried for Stamkos again, full trade value. Um, yeah, so I think I'm... The one trade that I was able to make work for a superstar caliber player, he's not a 94 overall, but he is only 22, so I'm hoping that Patrick Laine here, um, ends up being that 90 something overall, like I said, he's only 22, so he's not, you know, he's not a 93, he's not a 94, um, but he's the best I can get for value. He's a goal scorer. I mean, I mean Connor McDavid was also another option. Um, but I think I tried to get McDavid and just they wouldn't budge on him either. Like he was impossible to get. Let's see if I can try to get him again real quick. This is the big issue is they don't want Ovechkin and they don't want to trade McDavid, so this deal is already off to a bad start. Even if I throw in a first, I don't think this is going to go through. Yeah. McDavid's just too pricey. Like, I'm way over the trade value thing. I'm giving them everything they want. And if this team didn't have 49 contracts, um, this would be much easier because I could throw in... Uh, one of these two guys, but because they don't have contracts, contract space, I really can't do anything else besides just picks. Um, I can throw in this keen dude and see maybe. I mean, look at all this I'm trying to give them for McDavid, and they still won't budge. So I think I'm just gonna settle for Patrick Line, and maybe I'll get lucky and it'll be a big free agent off season. I can grab. Kopitar wasn't 32, I'd make it push for Kopitar, but I think I'm just going to grab Line A. Um, Patrick Line A, how much does he make? He's 22, makes 5.8 for 3 years. Uh, I'm probably only going to do 3 more seasons of this, depending on how the team looks. Draft picks, um, I can probably get away with giving them a second. Nah, that's not enough, so they probably want a first. Actually, let's uh, let's do this. Oh, nope, not that. Let me give them two seconds and see if I can save my first round pick this year. Man, so I'm going to have to give them a first. Can I get anything back? Can I get a second back? No. Can I get a third back? No. no I know this will go through. Yeah. So there we go. Alright, so I traded away Alexander Ovechkin. I traded away the franchise. We brought back Patrick Laine. 
Uh, he was the only superstar I could actually make a trade for. So, I mean, if... A first and a second for Galchenyuk? Uh, I really don't think that's worth. No, I'm going to say no to that. And by trading Backstrom, oh, because that's off for a first and a second? No. Kachenyuk. Kachenyuk. They're all going to offer me for this, aren't they? Because that's off. Uh, by trading Backstrom, I decided I'm not going to trade because that's off, but I forgot to take him off the trade block. Holy shit. I'm going to get all these goddamn picks. All these trade offers. First and second. I, you know, I made the decision. I'm not... Oh, come on. Hopefully once I get past the first round, these trades will go away. Uh, so the stars want them. Light lightning? Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> Decline. I'm going to accidentally hit except on one of these picks eventually. Oops, no. See, I almost did it. Oh, I don't want your fucking... That's the last thing I want to do is trade Carolina. Galchenyuk or Kuznetsov. Oh, these are next year's picks they're offering me. These aren't even this year's picks, so I'm going to keep getting these trade offers. Okay, you know what? Holy shit. And I can't stop the sim. Ugh. I didn't think about this. I think I'm just gonna take my pick and fucking sim the rest of the draft. Whose pick do I have? Toronto's? I think Toronto was a playoff team. This is... Oh boy, this is... Okay, finally. Sim options. Sim entire draft. Holy shit. I didn't even make my pick. I probably should have made my pick. Whatever. That was driving me nuts. Sim to resign phase. Leon Dreisaitl. Alright, so I'm curious how much cap space I have. I have to sign Holpi, Dreisaitl, Galchenyuk. I have to sign a lot of guys. All expiring. Sort by this. Dreisaitl, Pouliot, Drew, Anbrakovsky, Bowie, Kamarov, Freeze, Dano. Alright, well, first things first. 9.7? Holy shit. Alright, let's see if my little resign phase trade works. I can get it for 8.2. Let's try 8.4. Dry saddle wants 6.8, so. 5.8. I'll offer him 5.9. 5.95. Derek Pouliot wants 5.3. That's probably like 4.6. 4.5. Brokowski. 4.7, really? I really don't want to pay a third liner. 4.7. Jonathan Drew only an 85. What the fuck? 4.3. Oh, Drew has been a piece of shit, so he might not even sign for these. Global offers. I have 34 million in cap space. Bowie wants 3.7, so that's probably going to be like 3.3. Komarov wants 3.2. Um, Freeze is on entry level. What? Let's see. Is he a two-way forward? He's a playmaker. With no face off, so. Um, those are all my big names, so let's see who signs, and I'll go back and figure out how much cap space I have left. Dry saddle, uh, Burkowski rejected. So it's just Burkowski. I have to sign Galchenyuk and Gallagher next year. I only have 7 million cap space left. Damn. Uh, who was it? Alright, Burkowski. Uh, 
I remember what I offered him. And then I'll expire and these are all each others. You don't want them one way? Alright, see you, bud. You do, that works. You do. Ryan White, fuck off. Just signing guys to keep my HL team full. One thing I'll have is I'll have Rasmussen and Embridge and Phrase ready to go. So, once the season starts, I'll have some options in terms of players. Because I'm not going to have the greatest cap space for free agency. Oops. It's a shame I couldn't get a better superstar for Ovechkin, but I think I waited a year too long to make the trade. I probably should have traded him. Um, probably should have traded him after we won the cup that offseason. When his value was still fairly high. But, living to learn. Man, Prakowski does not want to sign. Four point, what was your point in production? Are you worth 4.7? Like, I almost feel like I don't, shouldn't sign him. He had 40 in for a third liner. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. I'll qualify him and see if somebody sends him something. But I'm not going to sign him for that. He's just not worth that. Uh, these guys all next year. Alright, yeah, I think I'm good. I know I have to sign a backup goalie. But I, I don't think Burkowski is worth 4.7. For a third line sniper, I can find a third line goal scorer. Hopefully. I'll have 7 million to spend, so... I'm trying to think what I... I have 7.5, Changelo, Hoffman, Little, Van Riemsdyk, Burkowski, Spooner. So now Burkowski up to 5.4, Berglund, Wingles. Um, I need somebody with good shooting. So let's sort by shooting. Van Riemsdyk, Hoffman, Little, Burkowski. All right, well. Aren't that many good shooters out here? Two way forward, he shoots he has no defense though. So. 84, 84. I kinda of wanna throw Berglund an offer. But I don't need I need a sniper. Spooner's a playmaker. Uh, let's uh let's throw a goalie an offer before I forget. And I lose out on goaltenders. Alright, so overall. One point four. I did not mean to hit B. Although oh, hitting B probably quicker than trying to go back and forth between goalies and players. Alright, so my defense is fine. Where's Tommy Wingles bring to this table? He's like a two way forward. I need a better fourth line forward. Well, how much do you want? You don't want that much. Let's see if he signs. Bo Bennett. Oh, he has no defense, otherwise I might sign him. Um... I'm gonna throw JVR an offer, see if he signs 5.5. I think I can afford all three of those players. Not entirely sure though. Dominique accepted, Wingles accepted. We'll see if I have the money for JVR. Ah, he went to fucking Anaheim. It's okay. We still have 6 million in cap space. I can't get, I can't afford Hoffman, otherwise I'd throw Hoffman an offer. Hoffman would be nice. I don't need another center. Although if I get him, Kuznetsov can get off center. 
Berglund's not terrible. I'm gonna throw these two guys offers and see if they sign. And then I'll go back to either Spooner or... Come on. I'm assuming they're both gonna say no. Oh, Hoffman went back to Ottawa. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to get either of them. I just don't have the dollars to throw at them. Um, Ryan Spooner is really not a center, so I think I'm going to sign Spooner. Or attempt to, at least. Yeah, I think that's my best option. Ooh, this Freiburg's had a good shot. Throw him an offer, too. Yeah, throw him on the fourth line and he just scores some goals. Nope. Oh, oh, damn. Spooner signed immediately. And Freiburg. Alright, so I think we're good. I don't think I have any money left. I have 1.9 left. I really can't do anything with that. So I'm going to sign this dude. And see if there's any... Uh, we'll sort by potential, 25s, and just kind of look for anybody who's under 23. Hello, bottom six. Uh, 21 years old, bottom six. These are all bottom sixes. I'll leave bottom sixes, seven Ooh, 22. Just kind of refilling that prospect pool so I have people to trade. See if they all sign. It's gonna be a rather interesting roster. I don't have that big I don't have that big name anymore. But without Backstrom and without Ovechkin, I'm still a 94 overall offense. So our offense didn't actually go down. I'm assuming all these guys sign. There's two of them. I don't know how many I signed. I think I signed four or five of them. Offense up to a 95. Yeah, okay, that's good. So in the next season. And let's see what we've got going on here. <laughs> Ooh, a first and a third. I will take the compensation because I don't have the cap space to sign them anyway. Oh, this is such a boring part of this GM mode. Just sitting here waiting for the sim. Like I said, if I had editing software, I'd cut this out. But I don't. So. Just kind of have to let it go through. Um, For those of you that watch my Beer Pro series, I should have another one of those up. Either today or tomorrow. Uh, I've been a little busy. Haven't had the time to really sit down and record that. I was going to record it this morning and then... Probably fell asleep instead of recording. That's why this video is up a little later than usual. Well, videos for this for this series might be up a little later in the next couple days. I don't think I'll get ahead until like Saturday. Come on, we've got to be close. But I want to set up my lines and go get lunch. Hey. Alright, so let's see what I have to move around. I should just see who's what. I, I want line A to be a 90. I don't, he's not, though. I kind of expect, didn't think he would be. Balls are starting to drop off, so I'm going to need to Oh man, all f three of these guys are probably ready to go. 
none of them have face offs so. I need to get these two in the lineup. Embrish and Rasmussen. Um, Alright. Alright, let's see what I've... Alright, so my fourth line center should be Bozak. I can call up... Yeah, I can call them both up. Alright, cool. Roster moves... Honestly, I want—I should call them all three up, but oops, I don't entirely know where they all play. Well, let's see. Edit lines. All right, so if I best lines this, what does it give me? Duran, Galchenyuk, Line. A? No, that's not. That's Jaisal on the first line. Duran, Kuznetsov. Uh, do I want Galchenyuk or Kuznetsov? Who's scratched? Somebody's scratched. Phrase is scratched and Marner is scratched. Uh, this can be best lines. They've got really nobody here that's worth anything. Oh, this guy is. Alright, back to the NHL. How do I want to set this up? Um, Bozak there. Marner here. Komarov down here, sniper, playmaker, playmaker, power forward, uh, playmaker, two way forward, two way forward. What Spooner's defense? That's adequate. Duran Gallagher. I mean, this team is. I feel like this seems pretty good. I kind of like this. Rasmussen has a good shot, so he should be able to score. Depth forward, third line. Duran's the second line. Because that's obviously the only guy playing out of his out of role. Well, Spooner's a set. Why is Spooner a second liner? He's 84 overall. We might struggle to keep the puck out of the net again, but we'll wait and see how that goes. I wonder actually if I should do this. Although I think Duran should be able to score on that line. Two way forward, playmaker, playmaker. That doesn't. Mm. Pretty much set on this first line being this, and I want line A on the left side. There we go. Then my defense. Do I need to improve my defense because I've got trade pieces I could do uh, I should probably look to get another top tier defenseman because I've got Embridge Rasmussen and who's not playing phrase I think phrase is the odd man out I think I'm gonna try to trade him for a defenseman Because he just he does not have the stats that the rest of them have. I wonder if I should play Wingles over Komarov or Spooner. Who do I have? Wingles? You know what? Um, I know I just signed him, but I think I'm gonna try to trade Spooner and Phrase for a defenseman. I can probably do that now, actually. Let's see if I can find a defenseman. Because um, if I can up that... It doesn't even have to be like a solid defenseman. Just, I mean, I know I just signed Spooner, but... Um, Rasmus is only 21 still. Alright, so... Phrase and Spooner. And I'm looking for a decent defenseman. That I can afford. Um, not gonna find one there. I have sort of a second round pick I can trade if I want to. Stone. The only issue is these guys don't have the highest trade value. Tori Krug. Offensive defenseman. Let's see if I can get Krug. How much does he make? He makes 5.1. Boston would have more than 45 skaters. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? I have nobody on the. Oh, and they want to trade Bergeron. That's it. That's not good. All right, let's do this. Give him alone. Will this go through? I don't think it will. No. So I have to give them something else. All 
That's what I have a first round pick again. Oh, I'll give them the wilds third. Maybe this will go through. Trade rejected. All right, I'll give you the one, my second. Trade rejected. All right, so I'm gonna swing for the fences then, and really hope that this. Uh, I'm not gonna go for Krug though. I'm gonna look for a team that wants all three of these. Columbus does. Does Columbus have any defensemen worth the damn? Ekman, Larson, Seth Jones, David Savard, Ryan Murray. That is David, right? Two way defender. Zadorov. God damn. Can I get Savard? Will they take this deal? Nope. I'd probably have to give them something else, and I think that's overpaying then. The Red Wings, they don't have any defense. They have Danny DeKaiser, that's it. I mean, Danny DeKaiser wouldn't be bad. 30 years old, 87 overall. Makes 4.7. I'll come back to DeKaiser. DeKaiser, if I can't find something, I think I can get him. It's the Wild, I'm sure they want their first round pick back. Brody, they don't have any defense. Devils. They don't have any defense either. Oh, the Islanders, I don't think they have any defense. They have Letty, but he's got way too high trade value. Oh, no. That's so... Hmm. Hamannick. Rangers, they don't have anybody like Donna. Yeah, Stahl's an 87, but he's 33, and then after that, they really fall off. CC and Carlson, and then nobody. Okay. Sharks, they don't have anybody. No. They have... That Bergman kid's probably decent. Nah, he's not anyone. Oh, I'm thinking DeKaiser is my best option here, boys. Tana, yeah, I don't really want anybody from Vancouver. I can probably get DeKaiser. What are they trying to trade back? Honestly, how much does Nielsen make? Nielsen makes way too much. How much does Nooski make? Way too much. Alright, never mind. I don't want either of those guys. Uh, give me this dude. And a second. Or a third. See if that's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Well, let's say they're not interested in... Ah, damn it. Alright, well, Frazen wow, first for DeKaiser. Damn. I, I didn't realize they were both centers. That sinks. Um, I want the Kaiser. I should be able to get him. Probably just have to throw in a second or a third. The only issue with this is... Actually, let's try to do this. I'm going to offer them Spooner because Spooner makes more money. Really? A first, a third? I really don't want to give you my second. How about a second next year? Still nothing, huh? Man. I know this, you don't want these things, but goddamn, at least give me something to work with here. You're a rebuilder, you should want these picks. Ugh. How old is the Kaiser? 30? Uh, you're not worth all this. I'm going back to Boston. A first and Spooner for Tory Krug. Done. All right, 
Alright, so... I still have phrase that I think I'll end up trading for a draft pick, to be honest. Um, because he just doesn't have a place on this team. Pretty much set with Rasmussen and Embridge being the two guys. Yeah, I just don't have a spot for... Now I could put him in, but I think I'm going to leave him scratched. I'm going to leave him scratched, and I need to start Tori Krug. Um, who should sit? Should I just... Should I give up on Bowie? He's 25. I don't think he's going to get any better. I think I'm going to give up on Bowie. Put Krug in the lineup. He's got better defense. They're both pretty good, so I'll put Larson down one. Actually, I should put Stetcher down, because Stetcher's not going to get any better. There we go. Alright. So definitely a different roster, that's for sure. Alright, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, actually, let me send down that extra defense when I had called up. This dude. And there we go, we're good. I should probably call up another forward. Call Freiburg up, and he can fill in when somebody gets hurt. What needs to be changed? Probably my minor league system. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I hope that didn't mess up my NHL lines. No, okay, we're good. Alright, so there we go. Uh, I'll look to trade and phrase probably sometime later in the season, but this is going to be an interesting year. Not entirely sure what to expect from this team. But as always, comment what you think our season is going to be like. Are we a playoff team? Are we a struggling playoff? Are we like a bottom dweller? Is this year we finally jump to the top of the standings without Ovechkin? But leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.